I'm just trying to think of one thing. <laughs> I can't. Okay. okay. Start it. Anyways, um, this is episode 18 of the Bag Boys podcast. We have no Drew today. We still, we still have a spot set up. I know you mm-hmm. usually couldn't see him because his head barely peeks over the <laughs> table, but like... <laughs> it's his little head poking over the top. <laughs> baby Yoda. Yeah, you no, know. he's currently staying at home being a little baby Yoda. Yeah. yeah so. Blanket wrapped around him probably. Drinking some bone marrow tea. <laughs> yeah. It's fine, though. Yeah. He's been surrounded by sick people for like the last week, he yeah, said. Yeah, but this is the beginning of the cold. So he's gone probably for the week. Oh, yeah. Mo- Real month, if we're being honest. Like it's Drew. At least it's, at least it's not Rob, where he's just sick yeah, year round. He's, 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 he's used to it. Yeah. He's used to it. I'm like, I'm just like learned how to like cope with the like constantly having a cold, you know? Yeah. I, I might sound a little nasally now, but you say that's that's how every, you sound you like. That but also, podcast. it could just be because I yelled myself hoarse during yesterday's big, humongous win. Right? Huge. You want to talk about it real quick? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Do, I mean, I do, but... Um, it was the most invested I've ever gotten Christian into a, a game ever. You didn't watch it, though. So No, like, I was just on my phone, <laughs> refreshing. <laughs> yeah. it was, all I wanted was just to be like... I was. I literally would go between Twitter and Google, looking at the game score and then your Twitter feed. And just seeing what I was saying. You and see that one guy tweeted at us being like, make sure he doesn't talk about his bike yeah. queens tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, fuck you, buddy. Half hour segment just for this guy. But This one guy. I don't know. It was like, like there was times where I was like, it's over. I was, like, was I was sitting in a ball like on my couch, like it's over. It was funny. So I was watching a stream. It was like two minutes behind. So Christian's updates were faster and your Twitter updates. Oh, <laughs> and man. there was one Christian's like, dude, what just happened? I'm like, I don't know. Like <laughs> the Vikings have the ball. They're marching. And then they fumbled and they called it back. But yeah. the fumble happened and you had tweeted something. Yeah. Dude, I was shooting my pants because <laughs> they they ruled Cook down like yeah. right after. But like in live, it looked like they had just lost the game. Yeah. And I took I had taken my hat off my throat. Oh, that's, what, that's no, that's what you had just texted Christian, being like, "I hope they don't blow it or something." Or yeah, I, I, I saw that. I'm, I'm like, sitting here before, like I'm waiting for them to blow it again. Christian texted me, and I was like, "All I see is darkness." <laughs> <laughs> but it was funny, man. I was like throwing my hat like like three or four times. I took it off and just threw it into the ceiling. <laughs> my parents would come down, being like, "What are you doing down here?" And then they saw the Vikings game was on. They were like, "Oh, okay, all right, all right. Um, we'll give them a break." But like literally, I was like pacing around, like I couldn't sit still. I was literally like, like freaking out the entire afternoon. Probably, mm-hmm. I'd say there wasn't like at more than ten minutes in a row where my heart wasn't just like beating out of his chest. <laughs> and then after the game, I had to go for a walk because I was still like just felt so hot and it's flustered. Going nuts. So they went for a walk in a t-shirt up and down my street. I was just like, Whew. it was a Vikings t-shirt, obviously too. You know what really pissed me off about the Vikings is that your jersey says fifty, but where? it's only forty nine years on there. Well, you count the 1960, do you? That's still 49. This is a heritage jersey. You can't buy this anywhere. If anyone was wondering, but it, why does it say 50 if it's 49 it years? <laughs> Brett Favre, captain jersey. There was only about 100,000 of these made, and I have one of them. <laughs> <laughs> they only made a, two billion. Yeah. There was 3.4 million. Yeah, they uh, were handed out to everyone in Minnesota. <laughs> like, just to get one. But. Yeah, I don't know. But right. actually, like, why is it fifty? Plus I, now that you pointed out, I honestly can't rationalize Maybe it. Maybe they're because even if you count all of sixty-one and two thousand ten, that's still. I guess that would be fifty. Well, I guess technically, the season goes like, like say this season was they like in twenty nineteen they would have called this the 2019-2020 season. So maybe oh, so the season started in twenty ten. Yeah, but in if I had to guess, that's what it would do. But I okay, okay yeah, that, yeah. that's a soft pass. Actually, no, yeah. that's, that's still forty nine because if it starts in sixty one and ends in sixty two, well, it's still forty nine years. If it goes from sixty one to they changed that rule in the seventies. <laughs> okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just you've probably just given everyone who can see it OCD now, so we're just gonna pretend, wonderful. Yeah, we're just gonna pretend it didn't happen. But uh, I have no comment on the sure. mathematical prowess of the Vikings organization. But hey, they won yesterday. They came through. Kirk came through. When everyone was doubting him, you see, you were pr- doubting him. No, I wasn't, man. I was, I had 100% confidence uh, the entire time. No. <laughs> you, you were confident in Cook. Even, oh, yeah. Even the Vikings at the very end, he, Kirk throws this 45 yard beautiful pass. Oh, man. And the Vikings are like, okay, we can't give him the ball. He can't fuck up. We'll yeah. run it twice. They get stuffed and then they have to they give have him the ball. <laughs> and then Kirk comes through, perfect pass to Rudy. He killed my boy. it. Um, There's someone else I was Wait, is it Rudy too. from a movie? Yeah, everyone's yeah, calls him that. that. He, oh. He's in there with Air Bud. Air oh, Bud. Yeah. <laughs> I love that crossover. The extended <laughs> universe. It's so funny. So you know how the Apple things are called AirPods? Yeah. Someone at work today, or the other day, was like, 
hey, can I have some Air Buds? And as a joke, I was like, oh, you mean like the dog that plays hockey? And they were like, <laughs> uh, pardon me? And I was like, oh, and then I had to explain myself. Like, I took a minute being like, there's a this movie series with a golden retriever that plays oh, sports. Oh, God. I 100% have made that exact same mistake. I, I always want to say Air Buds. Yeah, and like, I was just sitting there. Then the person like still, like, I explained it to them and they just were like, I just want my fucking AirPods, man. Like, I'm not can't, here to can't get... use the word earbuds. Yeah, no. literally. <laughs> like he said, AirPods after, and he realized that he messed up. And then he probably like he was one of those people that like took offense to the fact that I like made a joke out of it. You know, was he a customer? Or... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they probably left a review. They're like this this fucking weird idiot. fucker. Luckily, I didn't have I didn't have my actual name tag on, so we wouldn't have been like, been like able to track who it was. He was doing but... a skull clap. I'm not sure what yeah. that was about. Yeah. A skull clap. Oh, wearing okay. all purple. Everyone's like, oh, I know who that is. That's funny. At work, I'm known as Ron, not Rob, because they messed what? up my paperwork at first or something, oh, and, everyone, yeah. and everyone was calling me Ron like the first day. First and you're, few too, days. you're like, I don't want to correct. Well, like Niall them. had told everyone that like who I was, and I assumed that they was turned it into a joke of some sort. Oh, and everyone's God. like, Ron, like what's up, man? <laughs> and then everyone was like, I forget, but like, my manager was like, Rob has to do this, and everyone's like, Who's Rob? Is that is it? Ron has to. Do this. I was like, Oh, that's what you guys are talking about. It was Classic. pretty funny. But, this reminds me of a Drew with his uh, Drew Peacock name. And he, oh. had, he had it on his name tag. Yeah, yeah, we got it on the name tag. Because yeah. he told the manager and she had no idea that that wasn't his last name. She thought it was genuinely <laughs> that. And then when she saw it after, she said, oh, fuck. Which yeah. manager like, was it? I need to take that back. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was uh, Kristen. Oh, yeah. She would have let anything yeah. slide. Yeah. Well, she was like, you can't wear that. So he put on his other one. But he still has it. He was telling me the other day he has it at his desk. It's framed. Yeah. And then he told, <laughs> he told me one time that when he was wearing it. Actually... No, no. <laughs> that'd be sick. He told me one time when he was wearing it, he helped this old lady with her groceries. And she's like, oh, thank you, Mr. Peacock. And he's just like, no problem. <laughs> he's like, thank you, Drew Peacock. And he was just <laughs> like, joke uh, that keeps on giving. honestly. Jeez. I didn't get it at first. I thought you guys were just calling like Drew Peacock as like a joke. No. no. And then I was like, well, wait. Drew Peacock, Droopy Cock. And then I was like, oh, two and two together. It doesn't <laughs> equal five. There's still people in my community who have no idea what it means. Yeah, the, and the, they think he's a car YouTuber. Because there's, there's a car YouTuber called Drew Peacock. Oh, my God. And they're God. like, oh, he's the one that has like 80,000 subs in his <laughs> oh cars. God, no. maybe, maybe it is him. Could you imagine he's got a side job? He's not sick. He's buying a freaking Porsche right He's just or at something. home working on some car, like hanging upside down in his garage. <laughs> yeah. That'd be pretty funny. But... He can't hang upside down. He still has a oh. fucked up knee. Oh, yeah. Is, this, is he still crippled, technically? I sort of. I, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? If he wasn't sick, would he have came, gone climbing with you guys no. today? No. Oh, what's the... I guess I probably shouldn't say what's the name of the climbing, climbing gym you go to. <laughs> but yeah. someone at work, like a customer came in, and they were telling me about it. They were like... Because they came in wearing like that, like, you know, that, that Sorrel stuff that like super like outdoorsy people wear. Mm. And I forget what I said. I kind of made a joke about it. <clears throat> You, you just roast all the customers. Well, like, <laughs> all, like, I don't roast them. It's like it's, it's, they walk in and it's open season. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, look at this fucking idiot. Rob's like, all right, here we go. <laughs> but no, he was like, because he was like, oh, like, he's like, he gave me a compliment. He's like, you know, he's like, you look like a pretty wide shouldered, burly fella. And I was like, yeah, you know, I, get a, I go to the gym. So it's feeling up his form. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then he was just like, oh, like, do you like work out, like power trick or power lift? And I was like, no, I just like weight lift, like go to the gym, blah, blah, blah. He's like, you know, you should really consider like, switching up your workouts and starting to climb and hey, in my head all yes. i saw was like you three or we paid this two. guy <laughs> paid after paid after. and he was like um it's literally the nicest place i've been to in like the entire world and i've been to like 30 yeah. climbing gyms and That's it was like good. and it goes on to like like flex on me being like oh i went to this place in tennessee I, i've climbed in milwaukee i've climbed blah blah blah, blah. yeah I, all these wow. random ass like he was like uh some random place in florida and then he was like, but out of all the places I've been to, this this one was the, was the greatest, and you should try it out. He's like, it's going to be so much better for like your wrists and upper body strength. He's actually the like, owner. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah probably. probably. He's just trying to, sell trying to it. sucker another sale out of me. Yeah. Little does he know, I'm too, I'm too poor and broke to do that. But hey, we have a free pass for you. Mm -hmm. We'll That's get a, you to come one day. Yeah, one of these days. I just want to record it. My climb, you can. I'll just do. I'll take my shirt off just to record my rippling back muscles hey. as I climb up. But. He climbs a V one. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, talking to Between my jumping jacks. <laughs> I was talking to my nephew at uh, our family get together. He's like thirteen, and he was trying to like flex on me about how many sports he does. He's like, "Oh, I do oh, like no. volleyball, football, all this stuff." And I was like, "Oh, well, like, I do rock climbing." He's like, oh, I rock climb too. <laughs> Says he went to the gym that we go to. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, like what do you climb?" He's like. Oh, I don't know any of the grades or anything. I was like, okay. Uh, yeah. 
You definitely know. You just don't want to tell everybody. Yeah, it's like you. so. Like VB V1. He's just. Like, I have no idea. All right, <laughs> yeah, you're, okay, you're climbing. Yeah, you can climb the stairs on the way in, and that's it. <laughs> is there a VG level one? Yes. Actually, no. it's named after me. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> I knew there was a catch. I was waiting for it. Rob, I got my first V5. We out here. How sore? I, I was in pain. Yeah. Oh, I honestly thought he was gonna die. What's the one? Like, where's the hurt most? Your wrist? No, right here. Oh, right here? Because like you're, you're so pumped. pumped. Can you guys ever flex your... I don't want to... Your masturbation muscle? This oh, one? that's not what I thought you were going to say. No, what did you think I was going to say? I thought oh, you were going to say forearms. Oh, no. Like, you see, like, if you go like this, make a fist. It, it, it just appears. You see that? You <laughs> well, like, how like, much do you jerk off? Dude, like, not... I haven't ever, to be honest. But... <laughs> okay. You see? <laughs> this is why the cameras are important this time <laughs> yeah, around. exactly. You can feel it. It's like it is it right here for me? Yeah. This? It's somewhere in there. It's like your second elbow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quadruple jointed if you count my muscle there. His elbows just slid down. <laughs> I'm like General Grievous, but a human. Oh. Rob flexes his left arm. It just droops in. <laughs> <laughs> I go like this. This way it pops out. This way it's... <laughs> need a cast. The sound effect. It's rusty. It's <laughs> <laughs> in WD-40. Or I just take... Oh. I take the product from this arm and, you know... No. You know what I mean? Anybody? You're disgusting. I'm not disgusting. This is why we need Drew to balance you out. Drew would just be talking about like Drew's the worst. Drew would be talking even more about like Yeah, Drew ten minutes from now would be like, yo guys, have you ever seen this muscle in your arm? I just found it. <laughs> Thinking about like, the Drew muscle. <laughs> yeah. They just were talking about like jizz or something after probably. Is that a bad what word? Drew hell? doesn't actually talk about that much sexual stuff. Because he even said that one time, he's just like, I find it very uncomfortable when people talk to me about sexual <laughs> things. Really? Yeah, he said he doesn't like he said if we were to go up to him and be like, oh, this about my sex life, he would be very uncomfortable. All right, let's all do it. Let's do it. Let's but like, him. let's not tell him. We'll do it yeah. all kind of like different days. Drew, if you're not. He doesn't watch the podcast. Yeah, yeah exactly. We're, we're good. And if anyone tells him, you're there's banned. Only, there's only one person in here or one person in this building that could tell him. Annie. Yep. Get her. See, <laughs> that was a heavy knuckle crack. That's a lot of muscle fluid, man. Or knuckle fluid. <laughs> Hey, if you crack your knuckles, you're going to get arthritis. You realize that. <laughs> oh, I can't Ugh. do that good. Ooh, oh, oh, that little one. Uh, uh, my favorite is this. And you go like behind and you touch your shoulders together. Oh, I didn't work today. Mine cracked that. yesterday doing that and it shocked. It stunned me. Yeah. I can do where like I spin halfway. And I can feel it like go up my entire spine. I can feel on each joint as it clicks Ew. up. Yikes. You're an alien. Oh, I can't do it now. It has that thing that comes out of his stomach. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and when I do it, like, so this my second mouth opens up. But um, okay, you had a, a question for me or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you could choose, um, like think if the Vikings would have lost yesterday, mm -hmm. okay, you would have been it would have been sad. Blah blah blah. Would would, you rather, would, left would you rather that or them just get absolutely killed in the Super Bowl? Killed in the Super Bowl, to be honest. Really? Because, like, yeah. okay, like, well, okay, so actually, we were no, talking. No, no, I, let me think. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so we were talking. I love Shane's perspective on this. I need so to think we, about were, it. we were talking because so Christian's like, or I was like, okay, well, we were both, we were discussing it. And we're like, yeah. you're going to feel the highest highs because you're going to beat, in the say, Super Bowl. San Fran, yeah. and then you beat Green Bay and you go to the Super Bowl. So, like, you just made two more, like, you're going to be on the highest of high. Yeah. But then you're going to get hit with the lowest of lows. Just playing the Ravens and losing by like 50. Correct. We're like, I would he just drop into a deep depression? Because I feel I right know. now, like, you, like, if they would have lost this week, you, I think you would have already almost been over it. Like, but if they lose in the Super Bowl, <laughs> it's going to be months. It's just going to... See, here's, <laughs> here's my dilemma. It's like every podcast from here for the next four months is just... <laughs> yeah. How do they... So, like, here's the thing. If they lose yesterday's game... Like, You're and like, pissed. And, like, a fair, like... like if say they, say, they, say that the Saints had won in overtime, right? Yeah, yeah. Not the Vikings. I would have been pretty pissed off. But then again, I, and then I get to watch the rest of the playoffs with, like, no, with no strings Correct. attached, right? No pressure, but no that's stress. I mean. You feel the highest of highs because you're ramping up to the Super Bowl, yeah. and then they just get killed. I'm, ah, I'm, st <laughs> I'm still saying the Super Bowl just strictly on the fact that they'd be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it would suck. I'd probably, like, get... Like <laughs> church by every single person oh, I've yeah. ever met. Like, yesterday was funny. Like, I got I got texts from people I haven't talked to in like half like, half a year, being like, "Hey, big win yesterday." You would have thought I was one playing in the game yesterday. I'm like, "Thanks, man." But like, thanks. <laughs> I I worked really hard for that. 
I don't know, man. That's actually a tough question. I'm trying to think. Like, I can't gauge my emotion. You know what I mean? I think if I had to choose, like, if we're talking, like, Leafs losing mm-hmm. the first round or get swept with no chance, and say, you pick the Stanley Cup. Yeah. Because, again, you just get more highs than you do like, lows. And... Because I would do the Super Bowl just for that feeling of, like, being winning it. the NFC Championship and being, like, holy fuck. And it would be, it. like, it's, like, a five, like, from now till then, it's, like, five weeks. Yeah. Be, and there's a two-week gap between the, the semis and the final. That'd be the best week of my, best five weeks of my life, probably. Wait, but even just that two-week, you're going to the Super yeah. Bowl. Yeah. Um, and then but, I can like then I would be able to roast everyone I know, be like "fuck you, the Vikings made exactly, it," blah blah. But, but then like <laughs> as soon as they lose, I and I watch it with a bunch of like, like my fantasy football guys. So like, mm-hmm. and they all love chirping the shit out of the Vikings, anyways. So it would be so a really perfect. tough scene. Well, how okay? Yesterday when I messaged Rob, and mm-hmm. I think it was when the Saints were up because yeah. of that fumble. I was just like, Rob, make sure to keep the safety on. <laughs> and he's like, don't worry. It's been off since 105. <laughs> I, was just like, I feel like if they went to the Super Bowl, it'd be pretty severe for you. You guys would probably find me. Like, I love it. Hanging upside down from the bottom of a bridge somewhere. It's like, fuck, I'm going to throw tattooed on my stomach. <laughs> or not tattooed. Upside down? So know. you wouldn't die? You just, no, be, just be chilling in there. Yeah. I'd, be, I'd get myself as close to dying as possible. Then I could be okay. Now, just chilling there with his arms crossed, just pissed. <laughs> mean mugging all the cars that go Everyone's by like, on the 401. Should we help that car? He's like, nah. <laughs> He's wearing no, a Vikings jersey. Vikings fan. <laughs> <laughs> you just, jump off and there's another one right beside yeah. you. <laughs> hey, man. Land of the water. How long have you been a fan for us? Oh, oh two, bro. <laughs> be I've been fucked. hanging here for years. Now, have they ever made it uh, to the Super Bowl? Yeah, playoffs? they made it to four Super Bowls. And lost, lost every and one. lost every Super Bowl. I think right, four or mm-hmm. six. I want to say four though. But that it's was been before a while, you were though. born. Yeah, the last okay. Super Bowl was like, I want to say somewhere in the nineteen nineties, sometime. All right, my history is not too good. I'll admit. Um, this, this, I only really picked up the Vikings in like two thousand. Like, well, like as soon as I knew what football jumper. was, that I was like, okay, I wanted like I called them the purple team, and I was like a little toddler. So I was like. Purple, 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 blah, blah, blah. I didn't know any of the stats or players or anything, obviously. But so, Rob's like, I was three years old, crunching numbers. Like, <laughs> yeah. Kirk's got it this year. Kirk, Kirk was, and his cousins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I forget. Like, I'm trying to remember when my, like, when did you become a Steelers fan? Do you remember exactly how and when? No, it no, was the right? same kind of thing. Like, the color scheme. Like, yeah. I liked it. And then all of a sudden, it was. I just boom. remember, like, I think my dad came back from, like, a business trip from Minnesota <laughs> or something, and he had something purple. Like there's like a pair of gloves or like a shirt or a hat. I just remember think, putting on thinking, like, yeah, I'm part of the team now. You know, <laughs> it's because like, Rob was always picked last for the team. So oh, I was just yeah. like, I have a team to. Christian promote. always gets so pissed off when we're like, I, I talk to Drew. I'm like, Drew, are we winning tonight? Yeah, it's like, why are you saying we, man? You're all on the team. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I honestly just don't understand it because like when I'm watching esports. <laughs> People don't go like we won, like yeah. we did it, it's and just like they but, did it. But we're Good back to the you. huge divide b- between the similarities and differences of esports I to think real esports sports. Will get there one day. Yeah, like it's on the way up for sure. I hope not. But that's, like that's honestly just my one pet peeve. I don't care anything else about sports, but when they say we did it, I'm like no, you didn't. You didn't I like do shit. There's just a huge like, like you think of like a Viking, like a, I don't know, a hardcore Vikings fan doing a skull clap. They look fucked at the arena, covered in paint right and then you go to an esports event the biggest fan is going to be some guy wearing like an adidas sweater and like joggers <laughs> just chilling, like chilling on his phone yeah, somewhere. Not seen. the difference is just like there's like say like 30 people going nuts and then like 100 or two just chilling and yeah. then at the viking games there's like five thousand people going nuts and like 10 15 chilling actually yeah. how they see like 50 don't they Eighty-five thousand. i think yeah. holy shit i'm gonna quickly look this up so i don't sound crazy but i'm pretty sure the biggest esports event that they had at a place was for league of legends i'm pretty sure it was like sixty thousand. yeah but what yeah. league isn't fair i'll put it that way Be like then i could say football is not fair well like okay fine i know i understand <laughs> i understand how you would it's have the biggest argued e-sport, that. isn't it yeah um league or csgo i'd say league, I'd say league yeah league's always it has huge numbers on twitch because league, and their prize pool's not because yeah. league is also it's like everywhere it's in asia europe and mm-hmm. north america where csgo is like i think primarily north america and europe i don't think yeah. it's that popular in asia i have another question for you guys okay. do you guys think fortnite has finally started to die down no i think it's i think it's on the way down, down. So it, it just has such a big population it's gonna take a long i just time. think like fortnite did such a good job or i guess epic did such a good job like marketing and like embedding themselves to kids. into kids yeah like, like it's in schools now it's yeah like k- kids are doing the dances they see the dance on like a commercial mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. every kid knows what fortnite is 
between the age of like 12 to like evil anywhere up to like us i guess it's right? crazy yeah i'd say it's embedded itself but I, I do think it's on the decline in terms of population yeah i would agree with that like even on twitch its numbers are a little down also uh so one of the events that i'm pulling up here had forty seven thousand people yeah and that's like uh league of legends world champions 2016 in san francisco and an average nhl game is what like 15 20 thousand probably yeah, yeah. well so, like, like yeah the average I was gonna say the top teams are getting 22 a night the bottom yeah. teams are getting not even eight under or ten seven or eight thousand yeah. like floor i think florida averages like but when it, when it comes to 8, football like we're talking different different ballpark like minimum probably 20k yeah every mm-hmm. singles team mm-hmm. even like the worst of the worst are getting yeah the since the cincinnati Bengals winning two games all year they were like 0 and 13 at one point they had a couple sellouts this year and they were even fucking they sold their stadium yeah. out and they hadn't won a game <laughs> The only difference, though, I'd say is like for, <laughs> yeah. the big difference I'd say for esports, though, is that uh, it has way more live or like online viewership. But oh, that's because that's of, it's because yeah, of yeah. accessibility. Sure. Like yeah. it's on Twitch for free on a platform everyone until, can access. Until you get something like the Super Bowl. Yeah. Once it gets one, privatized, that's yeah. exactly. going to be yeah, yeah, way yeah. Once, different. Well, actually, I guess the Super Bowl is not private, but you gonna, know what I mean. Then it's going to be restreamed on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> you watch it on Twitch. Correct. But, to play. but that's a good example because there's billions of people or millions of people trying to watch that game. So yeah. they'll yeah. find it however they can. Supply and demand. Yeah. I love when like, those Twitch streams I saw when it was like a guy was like reflecting a big UFC fight in his glasses and he was streaming <laughs> it. That was hilarious. My favorite one was the guy who had a controller and he was like streaming the UFC game. He's just like, ah, get He's him. pretending. <laughs> get him. Yeah. And it stayed up for like hours because they thought it was an actual game. They thought game. it was gaming. That's <laughs> yeah. hilarious. But no, even the college football like make michigan they sell out they have a hundred k and they sell out almost every game which i was wondering so why do the college stadiums or why are the college stadiums so big when the nfl game or nfl stadiums are smaller because like the well and we're talking like this is the biggest of big college yeah like these are not like, every college team yeah. like, but there's still most of them are but this is like the like the history i don't know i don't know how to explain like, it. They're, they're, they're like a original six of college football there's no original mm-hmm. six but like Original conference teams like Florida, Alabama, Georgia, so they've been Notre around Dame, since the Michigan. dawn of time. Yeah, like <laughs> eight, like eighteen hundreds. Guys are playing with like leather helmets and shit. And those are the people who are like, yeah, my grandfather like this team, my great great grandfather like this team, my grandma like, yeah, you know, like the whole family. College football is way more deep than NFL, I would say, for most people, which baffles me. But, but again, like the the stadium in Ann Arbor seats one hundred ten thousand, yeah, one hundred ten thousand, and they uh, they they there's they have like eight home games, six home yeah. games. They sell every one. I yeah, sell out 100 percent. and then i think there's two main reasons b- behind that it's like michigan like they have the lions technically but like when you think of michigan they don't really have like their own like the, as a state they don't really have a sports team right so like oh. michigan wolverines are their team okay. well there's People, three michigan state the wolverines. yeah michigan michigan state and then there's like another central michigan which the thing is, is they're 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 competitive so they always yeah. they're always a top 20 team in the country so they're always good um so the and they, the recruiting is always good. Like they're always yeah, they're up always top. up there. And then they so it places like Alabama. There's no professional sports. They're minus their foot, like college football team. Oh yeah, because they're all inbred. Yeah, yeah I guess yeah. Whole oh, funny never heard that one before. Cousins, um, <laughs> Kirk Cousins. <yep. laughs> and then like places like I'm trying to think about other examples. Like I guess Florida has like the a few NFL teams and stuff too. Um, Notre Dame, for example, like they're just some random place in Indiana, but they sell out all the time too. Like South Bend or something. I don't know exactly where it is. Mm-hmm. It's like a, yeah, it's just about like it's just like your it's like hometown type. Yeah, deal. like if you're gonna cheer for something and you're and you're from kind of a place that's in the middle of nowhere with no real sports, then like chances are you have a college football team and like that's your team you can cheer for, right? Like the, the Carolinas, like they have the Panthers. Besides that, like there's North Carolina, South Carolina, like all these other weird Carolina teams too. <laughs> when I was in, uh, we went oh, to shit. Myrtle Beach, I'm and I was wearing around like my Tennessee Volunteers hat. Oh no! It was a, it was not the call. <laughs> I was just getting torched by everyone. Yeah. Like everyone was just like, "Why are you wearing that?" I like them. That's gotta be the most passionate fan base too, is college football yeah, players or were, college football they fans. They were not happy, and it was all the dudes. It's like all the old guys on the beach yeah. with like the Chevy symbol tattooed on their chest, <laughs> yeah. and they're all just torching me. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, oh yeah, there's oh. people out there like that. That's <laughs> disgusting. There's like three dudes. I, I don't know if they're all related, but like they look similar. They all have a Chevy <laughs> tattoo right here. I'm pretty sure they all drive Chevys too, probably. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be Drew in a few years. Maybe no, he'll not get, even like he'll got like a Ford EcoBoost logo tattoo on his fucking shoulder <laughs> or something. 
I just say that because like he he still goes to his school's homecoming, even though him and his girlfriend are both graduated. Amanda do, does the same. Really? I, 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 I find work. that a little weird. I like we almost went this year, but then I thought, well, I work or didn't work. But at the time, I was thinking like, hey, do I really want to go? Like the streets gonna be full, especially like my like my alma mater. I'll mm-hmm. call it. Um, like the homecoming there is fucking wild. And like, I'm not trying to stand around the streets surrounded by like 17 and 18 year olds all day. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what the part I find weird. It's like going yeah. to your old high school for a high school party. And like, but I've been out of a bit been, of a weird age. Oh, like I'm talking there. university. Oh, is that what you're saying too? Or like, no, high, well, like, but I'm saying like either way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. High school students are like 16. The yeah. university ones are 17, 18. It's like, you're it's still like the majority old. of people that go to homecoming are like the younger students, like first and second year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, then, I, that, that's where I find it a little weird. Even while I was in school, I didn't go to my last year's homecoming just because I was like, I'm a greasy fourth year. Who wants to, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, who wants time? What girls want to hook up with a greasy fourth year? I had year? a girlfriend at the time, actually. Uh, so oof, that explains everything. Default to that. But um, yeah, I was just like, I just don't want to stand around and like, I'm going to feel so old. You know what I mean? It's a lot different when you're like the youngest people mm-hmm. there because mm-hmm. they're like, oh, like, just no, not care in the world. Just want to get destroyed all day. But then when you go up as like an old, older person you're just like i feel like i shouldn't be here you know what yeah. i mean it's just like awkward but same as st patty's day i was gonna say patty's day but then again i was like i'm 23 <laughs> so i'm not really trying to do this or 22 at the time but still i'm a grandpa now i got literally man i didn't even leave my house on new year's three kids he doesn't know about yet but they'll get there <laughs> <laughs> one day yeah um when i was at my family reunion one of my brother's friends came and like first time meeting the family and the first thing my other brother asks him is like, "Any kids?" And he's just like, "Not that I know of." I'm like, "That's Rob. Hey. <laughs> That's Rob in a few years." Let's go. Let's hope, let's hope so. Hope not. No, hope not. Hope don't, not. Don't yeah. Want that? No. No kids. Um, random question that popped into my head on the topic of tattoos. Beauty? As three guys who don't have tattoos, mm-hmm. would you ever get one? No. If not, yes. Is there something that would make you get one? And if so, where, what, and where would it be? Have you seen? Do you know who Twenty One Savage is? Yes. You know how he's got the cross on his forehead. Yes. I can picture Christian once he like gets like millions of followers and millions of dollars <laughs> getting a Tesla T. A Tesla T <laughs> T on his forehead. His forehead. <laughs> or like one on each cheek. <laughs> one for each like Chevy thing. It's the Tesla <laughs> T. And then like really small teardrop. Yeah. <laughs> for it's everyone like, he has. <laughs> uh, no. Flips the gum. Tesla. Oh, tes- oh. Tesla for life. <laughs> Love you, Elon. Yeah, yikes. No. I know, a, a girl I know has like a tattooed on here and it says like, I think it says like crazy bitch or something like that. And she got that willingly, unironically. But it goes away though. And the no, one it's, a, your lip. it's a tattoo that's, for, that's there for like, the only ones I think that go away are the ones on your knuckles. I'm pretty sure the ones in your lip too. Really? I hope for this I lady, so. for this girl's sake, I hope so. It looks terrible. I don't mind saying that. Why? Who? No one's gonna see it. You gotta like go out of your way to flip your lip. Is it your ex girlfriend, the crazy bitch? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's the first thing she's like. Oh, I think I'm sure she's fine. She's yeah. like, Rob's like sees her on. She's like, oh hey, how's it? How you going? She's she's like, flip, she flips her lip. It just says fuck Rob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. See ya. Imagine you meeting a girl. The first thing she does is pull her lip down and show you a tattoo. Yeah, I'd be like, I'm at, I'm getting the fuck out of here. No, I don't think you'd leave. You'd be like, this is. Depends what, the, depends what the tattoo said. No, yeah. I'm kidding. Hi, how it's are a you? tramp stamp that says ho. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm in. It says I'm easy. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm already taking my jacket just off. Boner garage. <laughs> just said. That's from a movie, isn't it? Yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, okay. It just says herpes. <laughs> <laughs> herpes round two. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. Let's go. Herpes yeah, survivor. <laughs> Wait, so you would get a tattoo or no? Yeah, I would, but I don't know what it would be. Yeah. I, I One day. I can't I can't see myself with a tattoo anywhere on me no matter what it is but like maybe if someone like a really like a good buddy of mine died or something then maybe so mm-hmm. if you guys are th- have so plans. if I ever die an unexpected early death I want my entire face tattooed on your bicep and then when I flex your mouth opens yes <laughs> and when Jeez. you flex you can go like hey guys Chris here from Versus Game hey guys <laughs> I was host- I'll do it. It depends how much you give me, though. That's so <laughs> I'm just, I'm just streaming for you like this. <laughs> no one would, no one would know. No one actually know, man. We could get away with that. <laughs> but no, I don't think I would ever get a tattoo. Yeah, I, I have know. to be careful with what I say because Annie has a tattoo, so I can't. What, like, like, do you chirp tattoos? I, I do not like tattoos. I all. just think they look a little bit like. Like a, like a, like a small one, like on your ankle or something's fine. But like, mm-hmm. if you come out at someone and you have like, 
like full like tattoos all over the place and they're like aggressive looking you know mm-hmm. what i mean like they look like edgy as a yeah. like, there's two types of tattoos like there's like ones that like basic girls get where they're like a date on their ankle or like yeah, a yeah, flower yeah. on their forearm those are whatever but like if you see someone who has like like skulls and like vines and stuff just covering themselves like i know i'm sound terrible here but it's just like that like are you not automatically inclined to think that they're on the little bit rougher side of things it depends i guess um, yeah the one tattoo like or tattooed person i've seen yeah. recently that i really like coconut uh the other youtuber he has like full sleeve tattoos of like all these hawaiian those would like, be cool like faces and stuff right like, like dragons masks. oh no like dragons and like oh. the uh, like I don't know what to call like I guess mythology or yeah. whatever of their culture. Um, some of them like yeah, some of them look. Cool. It looks so nice. Like, but, like that's like a, that's like a well put together sleeve is what and, we're yeah, talking about. It yeah. looks like a piece of art. Yeah, like, my cousin's nice too. It's like a sleeve with like, like yeah like, wolves and stuff. I'm talking the, those like yeah. ones where it's like in between a sleeve and not a sleeve, and it's yeah. just like random patches of like yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like I'm not gonna like if I was gonna I'm obviously this is just a hypothetical situation, but I'm obviously not gonna not hire someone because of it. But, like, that's a professional setting. On the street, if I see someone, I'm like, you're automatically inclined to think they're going to be, like, like I was saying. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, to a degree. Like, you're, like, if you see someone that's, like, tad, like completely tatted up, but they're all, like, skulls and, like, they're covered in, like, jewelry, like, crazy jewelry. You're going to think that, but then, like, you haven't talked to them. I haven't talked really. to them. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's service I, level by me of saying that. But at the same time, like, you know, I would obviously give them the time of day. Mm-hmm. I would say that I'm more inclined to think that yeah, if what, everything else, like, suits that look. Like, if yeah. they're wearing, like, tattered clothes exactly. and, like, look like they're weird then i'll be yeah. like, okay something seems off here the tattoos don't help mm-hmm. yeah but if i look at someone with tattoos i'm not gonna be like oh like, yeah like i'm not gonna profile them just off their tattoos but yeah. like that's how i would approach it at least mm-hmm. i probably sound i probably just shot myself in the foot didn't i every person with like tattoos again like when you see me. a bunch of tattoos you're like you, your first thought is like wow okay yeah like it's gonna yeah i don't he's think gonna, he's gonna beat me up and take all my money no yeah. i'm kidding <laughs> wait so rob you're saying that if the vikings were to win the Super Bowl championship this year, you would not get a Vikings Super Bowl 55? Let's make a bet right now. If the Vikings win the Super Bowl and you pay for it, I'll get a Vikings tattoo somewhere. On your butt? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. I'm looking hands forward to this. Your hands weren't crossed. No. If the Vikings win, like the Super Bowl, yeah. I will get a Vikings logo tattooed onto my ass. Yeah? 100%. As if you pay for it. I'd pay for it. I'm in. All right. Like, I'm, this is it. <laughs> I'm going to watch every football now game I'm from now on. Now I'm way too invested. Oh. So, but wait, what happens if they don't win? Nothing. Then you have to uh, you have to give me the monetary amount of the Vikings. Fuck off. <laughs> times 10. No, nothing. Nothing, nothing. at all. It's, uh, okay. it's a suicide bet by me. Okay. Yeah. It's, That's a win-win so for me. If, I like, think so. If they win... I have to get a Vikings tattoo logo on my ass, or lo- Vikings logo tattooed onto my ass. If they lose, no, like I'll be depressed for probably five or six months, but no <laughs> tattoo on my butt. So I'm about it. Would your mom kill you for getting that tattoo? She, she I'm my own person. I'm 23 years old. <laughs> she can say whatever she wants, but yeah, she would kill me. Probably. Walks in the house, mom, look. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. It's like who would see it? I guess anyone who sees my butt. <laughs> Yikes! It's a good story though. Yeah, it's a yeah. great story. My, uh, I'm all for this. I'm not kidding. <laughs> my brother has a tattoo. So you would never expect it from him. He's the oldest out of all of them. And he's like an RCMP officer, super serious. Like whenever we play games, he never makes any jokes or is mm. always calm and level headed. He has a tattoo on his like upper thigh. That's a gorilla eating a giant banana. And on the banana or on the gorilla, it says always ripe and ready. <laughs> like what? <laughs> what? We found out about that last year. We're like, like, what's the story behind it? Is there one? Him and his buddy in college were just like, let's go get tattoos. So they drove up to, like, Kingston and just got tattoos and came back. His friend's tattoo is, like, a dolphin or something. It also has something super sexual on it, but I can't remember what it Jeez. is. So like, I would have never guessed Always this. ripe and ready. And the only reason what we... a legend. The only reason we know it is because apparently when you're in, like, the police forces or the army or whatever, you have to tell them what tattoos you have so that if you ever die, they can identify your body. Mm-hmm. So, that, like, he had to write that down, and now everyone knows. <laughs> yeah, you're telling your, like, like, your boss, not only any boss, like, your, like, RCMP, like, borderline military boss, like, uh, yeah, my tattoo says oh, it's a gorilla eating a banana, <laughs> and it says always ripe and ready on it. It's perfect. He's probably like, oh, man, I have the same one. <laughs> <laughs> My college days were wild, buddy. Let me yeah, tell you. Yikes. I don't know if I would ever get one. 
The only ones I've ever thought of were ones I saw from uh, another like YouTube channel, Jack Chiman Hunter. He has like Tetris tattoos down his arm. Mm-hmm. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like the bottom one's like the T one, and like it just goes different shapes all the way up his arm, and it just looks like a Tetris puzzle. That's sick. Or board. Did I'm you like, ever do that's that? Pretty cool. What Tetris tattoo? I think it's pretty cool. I don't think like, I would do it. I, if I ever did something, it had to be super that's iconic. The stupidest like thing I've ever heard. No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding, Tetris man. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Like, I thought about getting, like, because, again, a sleeve, but then I thought, that's unrealistic. Like, what the fuck am I going to do with the sleeve? You know what I mean? Wouldn't it also look bad for you? Because if you're, like, like, gaining muscle, doesn't it, like, stretch it? Yeah, it stretches. And, like, plus, I just don't think I'm, like, a tattoo person. No, you're you're too pasty, right? That's what I mean. They drew getting a tattoo. Oh, I guess Drew can maybe. Uh, Yeah, Yeah, I I don't think it would look good on him. Yeah, like it has to be one of those like really colorful ones that are like yeah. just a joke. It'd be like a fucking like a like a, uh, a peacock end of like a fishing rod with color. Yeah, if it. Drew got a peacock, I think that'd be perfect. Yeah. A giant peacock wing covering his oh, back and no, on his blades. hand, and then each finger has the feathers tattooed on the back. So <laughs> and, the, like, oh, and, and the thumb is the mouth. <laughs> yeah. <of> the beak. <laughs> it's basically just those turkeys. Yeah, yeah. Those, yeah. those Thanksgiving school. things. Jeez. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> we have to tell him that yeah. when he comes back. We should talk about the the Vikings ass tattoo bet too. Yeah. Well, we, I have it logged. Hopefully, the recording. Yeah, no, yep. we're good. It didn't fail. Hey, yet? <laughs> Not yet. I can't wait to see what people are going to talk say about this. I I dare them to like. They're going to say I'm not going to do it, and I'll just prove them wrong. For I guess the Vikings have to win the Super Bowl first. Yeah. <laughs> and like I, that's yeah. tough. Like, there's a reason I made that bet with such confidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But on the, on the flip side, if they make it to the Super Bowl, this is going to be fucking hilarious. Like, imagine, like, who are we going to get the, like, imagine going to a tattoo guy being, like, lost a bet. I'm going to get a Vikings little tattoo to my ass. He's just like, oh, my fuck. <laughs> He's thinking, hey, that's, like, $400. Yeah, exactly. Easy money. Yeah. Out of your pocket. I know there was a, I think it was, like, two years ago or something. I'm sure you guys probably heard about this. But there was a story that came out on Twitter about two guys who made a bet because, like, both their teams were going to a Super Bowl. And then whoever lost had to get a tattoo of the other team on there like being like oh whatever championship yeah. and i think it was two years ago it was like when it was patriots versus something right? probably Atlanta. yeah and, <laughs> and then the one guy had to get like the patriots thing tattooed on his arm See, it was a... probably patriots versus because they they the, they were way up 28-3 never patriots forget. came all the way back and won, i don't know that's so. a, that's only a 50 50 bet though for an ass tattoo so it's or, or for a tattoo in general that's i wouldn't make that bet no. what yeah. if you lost like that you guys were up 28-3 with like 20 minutes to go and then they came back i just start crying man i'm not even kidding because <laughs> after the first touchdown like, you'd still be confident and then the second one comes in you're like dude this might happen i know third one and, and then the fourth to tie you're like oh, well like fuck. remember the the minneapolis miracle but mm-hmm. Diggs caught it i was so happy and the next week go to philly and get killed. just get fucked <laughs> <laughs> and literally it's like this end of it's like the start of halftime i'm standing with my head in my hands like this there's literally like a couple of tears coming out of my eyes oh you, you've killed. actually cried from i've football. cried over football like two, three or four times I really say. yeah interesting okay don't judge me yeah what the hell i'm not judging i just can't relate but uh my mom comes over and she starts patting me in the back oh and then i was like she's like what's up and then i, I just i won't say anything just point to the tv <laughs> and she's just like i'll come back later honey <laughs> Was she just peanut- breaks the TV. The I, I, made a pe- I made the peanut butter baby noise and she just left. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that was, just, that was a dark day. I That took me like a month to get over. I'm not even kidding. It's pretty funny. I like how basically this whole conversation is just revolved around you being like, Drew, what would it, or Rob, what would it take to break you? Yeah. Like, what do we need to well, do? Well, we know. It would be, it would be a, like a heartbreaking Vikings loss. If you were to like delete all my saved game history on like my call of duties maybe that would probably mm-hmm. make me pretty sad really yeah and then like i don't know like obviously you wouldn't do anything to my family i hope scary <laughs> eye contact there <laughs> but uh yeah those three Pause things the mainly yeah <laughs> drew's actually not sick <laughs> it's a good thing he lives right behind you <laughs> yeah. oh easy access gosh. yikes oh i just touched the camera again did i no, we're good. Stop touching it. No, my foot. This is, is why he sits over there. My foot mm-hmm. is like very active right now for some reason. Oh. It's yeah. it's honestly because he's sitting in Drew's chair. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's just something you could put in Drew's Drew. chair. Yeah. Oh, I feel some sliding up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yikes! Well, what would it take to break you guys? Like, what's what's one thing? Like, if you woke up tomorrow and it happened, like you're just not getting into bed for the whole day. That's easy. 
What is it? One of my parents died. Oh, yeah. I would, yeah. Die, I, would probably, yeah. <laughs> I would never, I wouldn't move okay, for like a week. That's, that's, <laughs> I was saying, like, the only thing I would really do would be death. What about yeah. non death? Yeah, what about related? no one Nothing. dying? I don't think, yeah, I don't think there's anything that would cause me to be. I don't care like, about anything enough. Yeah. Really? Like, if it wasn't okay, like actually, a no. death. YouTube channel getting deleted. Okay, yeah, something like that. That would break me. If you woke up but, and like, YouTube was like, your entire channel has been copy striked or whatever they, they call it <laughs> yeah. by like some by random PewDiePie. company and we can't do anything about it <laughs> and everything is just gone if like well i wouldn't really care as much if it was just copy strike because then eventually i could work that out but yeah. something like if that channel actually just got deleted and they told me there's no way to recover it then i'd probably start be, crying yeah i'd be pretty destroyed would you mm-hmm. start crying though You'd shed one tear. You'd, you'd, I'd you'd cry. Shed one tear. And then when call was that, his lawyer. I'm interested. <laughs> when was the last time you cried? And if it was very, if it was for a very personal reason, you don't have to tell us. But I'm just interested. I can't see this guy expressing emotion ever. The last time was a personal, oh, like yeah. a TV show moment that made me cry. Like, a, but like, for personal reasons. Uh, so okay. I won't I was get into you were watching TV show, you started crying. I was like, the "Fuck!" The when office Michael gets left. him every time. <laughs> yeah, well, the when, when, gets when, him every when, time. Um, that episode with Mike, Michael, when he can't afford to give all the kids the things. Oh, dude, no! <laughs> oh my god! Have you, I, every single, I always skip that episode whenever I see the title. But I've had it like three times now because I've watched, I've rewatched The Office like sixteen times. Yeah, and like the past three times, I always forget. And then I, because every single show now has like an intro bit, right? Yeah. And it, they always have the intro bit. I'm like, I don't remember this. Like, where's it oh, from? God. And then it gets to like five minutes in. I'm already too deep. And then they mention Scott's Tots. I'm like, oh, oh God. No, I'm, I'm out. I'm too far in. I have to watch it. And I just Yikes. sit there cringing for the rest of the Fuck episode. That. What about you, Shane? Probably a movie. Yeah. I get like, when I'm in a Sorry, theater and I'm like, buy me dinner in- first, man. <laughs> touch my feet. When I'm in a theater and I'm only focusing on a movie, like, it doesn't even need yeah. to be that cheesy of a movie, just a good moment. One movie I cried at was uh, Click. Don't, uh, I don't think oh, it's the remote control. When he paused, when he paused the lady's booze. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. <laughs> Adam Sandler, he has like the controller that can like pause life and fast forward and stuff. Yeah. And at the end of the movie, it's just like uh, the controller learns what you're doing. So it's like he would skip every morning. So then it just started fast forwarding his entire life. And then fast forward to like when he's 80 on his deathbed. And his kids don't want to see him. Oh, I do and remember then, that like, now. Well, the kids is, come in and they're so like, oh, sad. Yeah, they're like, oh, that. like you weren't there for us or whatever. So then they walk out and he's like, he starts getting out of his bed, like pulling all the cables out and like going into the parking lot. It's raining. He's on the ground crying. I remember eyes. that actually. Now you say it. like, no, like my kids, my oh, kids. And man. it's just supposed to be a comedy. Shit. Yeah. I remember I'm that. Bowling. I remember thinking to myself, like what the fuck just happened in this movie, man? Does like someone sneak me acid or something? Oh, yeah. I, I watched it with my dad and then I'm just looking at my dad like, I was probably like eight at the time. Yeah. Like, is what? this what life is like? Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, no, it's okay. That's fucked. Yeah, yeah like, I bawled at yeah. that movie. And also mm. Notebook, but... That's I, I actually, depressing. like, I was forced to watch that, as I'm sure we all were at one point. I've never seen it. Yeah, I liked it. It was like, I found myself actually getting invested into the story, which is very strange. Because yeah. there's so many Notebook memes. Like, oh, blah, blah, blah. It's such a... Like, Again, if you movie. actually focus in on things people think is dumb, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like, dude, sometimes I swear I'm like bipolar, or no, maybe not bipolar, but sometimes I'll be at the gym and like a song comes on, like I don't know, like a song that's like not like it. I'll ha- I'll have like I don't know, like heavy metal or like EDM, blah blah blah. And my iPod will ram just like throw some song at me, like from like the from a long time ago. Let's say I had like a a song with like a past girlfriend or something. <laughs> Or like just like a a deep song, I guess they call it. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, do you remember the twenty first night of <laughs> September? Yeah. You just start and then, dude, I'll, dude, I'll be like, God damn it! I have to take my earbuds out, just take a moment to myself, and like gather myself, you know. Or like, uh, fresh after a breakup, when like every single thing in the world reminds you of your ex girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I remember I was driving home, and the, the car, the car, like cars coming at me. I, I saw faces in them. Like, oh, like, I thought you were gonna be like, I tried no, to steer. <laughs> and like this one car, I forget what it was, it was like a fucking Hyundai Elantra or something. The eyes looked like, to me at the time, it looked like my ex girlfriend's face. Oh, and I god. Like, oh god. <laughs> okay, I can't say I've ever done that. Dude, I'm, I'm, I get in these really weird moods where I'm like super unstable. Yeah. But it's like, you know. Well, I guess I can't really. I've never like had a breakup. Yeah. So. Not yet. What? <laughs> <laughs> I look out and he's packing her bags. Yeah. She's like, oh. She's like, I timed this perfectly. Goes, goes by on the bike. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking one of the Teslas. Yeah. No. But yeah. There's, there's plenty of things. Like, there's tons of times where, like, moving stuff where I, like, can, you can feel yourself, like, Yeah, up. you feel yourself. You're just, I can't do this yeah. right now. Just people around me. One I, super cheesy thing for me is a lot of the times, like, when I go home for just, like, 
I don't know, I go home once every what week or two. Yeah. If it's been a while and I go home, every single time I leave, and it's just it could be as simple as just chatting feel, with your dad or something. So heavy, man. Yeah, but like I you, you, that. but not heavy. You leave and you're really happy, and your eyes well up. And yeah. You're just like ah, this is great. Yeah, Life is good. It's a feel good moment. Yeah. Or another thing that always makes me like almost start crying is when I see a video of like the the soldiers on deployment like the mom coming back to their kids surprise no, them out, like, a, oh, like, like a, a sports thing yeah oh like yeah, the yeah, kids yeah. are doing something then like the mom and the dad come out from like the thing. I well up every time and i'm just like oh dude i can't do this right now there's like again there's people around me that hold it together yeah. mm-hmm. i watched one of those at work today actually and i was like you know the t- taking a moment to myself i'm like fuck man i'm about to start crying the customer <laughs> comes in starts roasting rob <laughs> yeah. instead of being roasted for this idiot about to start crying <laughs> or like super big sports events again you're not going to get this yeah. at all but like remember when bautista hit that home run oh yeah dude if that, you watch that highlight package now the fucking bat flip, but like it, 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 it almost brings tears yeah my eyes. i well up every time really yeah yeah it's nuts dude it's dude. just like 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 that's the it's super super cheesy but that's the kind of shit you live for man. yeah you know what I, mean? I was gonna say i can remember watching that game and being like did this just happen like it was the craziest game ever man i feel that sports are i'm i'm awful (laughs) i can't relate to anything i remember at a 2017 invitational for (laughs) for this uh seat tournament i i i I, I, I had my hotel booked like that was before ubisoft invited me to stuff so i just went there on my own and i had my hotel booked for another night but i canceled it early because i "I just wanted to go home i don't Mm want to be here another night yeah and then um I'm sitting in the crowd and the match is 2-0, best of five. And then I was like, fuck, just hurry up and end it. Like 3-0. <laughs> I want to drive home. Like yeah. Yeah. it's already three o'clock. It's an eight hour drive back. It's oh, going to be gosh. awful. And then um, the other team that was down to comes back and wins three maps in a row. And it's like the fifth map is match point overtime. Like whoever wins that round wins it all. It's one versus one and they win. Everyone's mm. going fucking nuts in the crowd. I just walk out. I'm like, I need to go home. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Yeah, just like, disconnected. Because it was like 6 p.m. I was like, I got to go. Yeah. I, I yeah. was like, I need to go home. I can't sit here forever. So I you just left. You should have just left yeah. anyways. And then, done. Well, like thinking back, I'm like, that was a pretty crazy moment. But I'm like, I just, I don't know. I don't have that well, connection. If, yeah. if you're not it. like in, embedded or invested. invested into the moment emotionally and like even physically to an extent. Like, I think I am more now. When I watch the yeah. games, I get a little more like, oh shit, like that was really cool. Even like but, a perfect example would be yesterday. Yeah. Was anything going to peel you from the TV? Nothing. There's nothing at all that even my and I my parents were like we're good, they yeah. even say even said like we like we have shit to do but just do uh, again, it again like after. barring yeah. a barring like a death or something like there's yeah. nothing pulling you from the TV. Who's like, your celebrity crush? Oh man, um, come come back to me. I have to bring. I have like to Jonah Hill, okay. this. <laughs> Seth <laughs> Rogen. <laughs> okay, uh, n- uh, what's her Na- Natalie Dormer? <laughs> yeah, from Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is she like a celebrity crush sure. of yours? She's like she's up there, but she's yeah. not like my celebrity okay, crush. Okay, let's say she walks in to your room in the middle of the game after the Saints get that like fumble, like before it gets recalled. She walks in naked and she's like, Rob, let's just go at each other right now. But you can't watch the TV. Would you step away from the game? No, he wouldn't. I honestly don't think I as would. As soon as no, he stepped away really? from the game, his mom would turn the corner and just <laughs> beat his yeah. ass. <laughs> like, no, like, for real though. Really? Like, that's that's impressive. Like I'll, I'll give you that. I've had like in the past, like again, like I've I've like I've had girlfriends while I'm watching like, a football game, and they get so mad at me. This is one of the reasons I didn't work out with one of them. Was stri- well, not only because of this, was it because it's like I'm like I'm watching the Vikings game. It's from one till four. Like that's all I need today. We can do shit before and after. Just like you know, exactly. And that's like I think is fair. Yeah, to be fair. And it's like, why aren't you texting me? And then she like comes comes over because we live close to each other. It's like. You're just sitting here watching this game. Like, can you text me? I'm just like, do you not get it? Oops, no. my thing over. They don't. It's just like, I'm not doing this because I don't want it. I'm not doing this instead of anything else because I want to. I ha- I literally like it is like, I've chosen to be invested into this, and I'm go- and I'm gonna be invested into it. You me, know what I mean? Me you can't. And, if you pull me away from it, I'm just gonna be a cranky asshole the whole day. So it's like me and Amanda went to Eastside Mario's, and literally like we were sitting at the kind of like in one of the booths by the bar. The yeah. TVs were up here. And the whole time, I'm just watching the Leafs game. And it was a, like, a, it was, I think, Saturday night's game. And one of the plays, the, the winger comes down and then threads the puck through the defenseman's legs and then passes and they score. And I literally, like, stood up and went to be like, and then I realized, like, I, like, snapped back in. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm sat in a public back down. restaurant. And Amanda's yeah. like, 
what happened? <laughs> she was probably there for like 15 minutes. I didn't even know when she got there. <laughs> and I brought her there. So yeah. That's the kind of shit that happens, man. You just yeah. lose where you are. And it's so funny because then as soon as we got food, it like took me back away from the game. Like, oh, hey, man, how's your day? <laughs> but for that 15, like 10, 15 minutes where you're just sitting there waiting for food. It's just like. I was glued to the TV. You just can't yeah. do anything about it. Really? Hmm. Um, funny story from yesterday too. The Vikings won. Well, they threw that touchdown. I, got, I was like, yes. They just fucking. <laughs> pounded myself in the balls by accident <laughs> <laughs> and it hurt for like a half hour man but i was like this is pain i can deal with I was like, this is pain i caused myself out of sheer excitement i got it how do you this. accidentally sack so like, yourself yes, yes and i was like jumping around and shit. i was like this bang <laughs> left nut right to the bottom of my goose oh dude hammered the shit out of it bro got whiplash. <laughs> Literally. i gave my i gave my left testicle cte it doesn't oh. surprise me seeing as how like how you freaked Fuck. out in my car over oh, something yeah. well that, that was like i got that job was interview sick. that was pretty yeah. good but that was so confusing because it was really like a few hours earlier we were in a voice call and he's like yeah i have a job interview lined up for that company no like, and then he gets a call or the email he's like i got the job i was interview. expecting like, a job interview and then mm-hmm. they confirmed it but that place ended up not working out and i was depressed for about a week but you know, I'm back oh, we're at back, it. back, baby. Actually, what did you say during that week? I was like, I don't want to get out of bed. My arms and legs fit the way a thousand pounds. Oh, yeah. And you're like, life, uh, isn't, life isn't worth living. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck out of bed. <laughs> you're like, just come play fucking Siege. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, it's too dark outside. But um, but no, I was blessed because Niall came through like the very next day. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's another moment where I almost had a tear in my eye. Because I was just like, I went from like the worst to the worst. You know to having I mean? an okay job. To having like a pretty, yeah, an okay slash pretty good job. I think it's good. It's yeah. a good, it's a good fill. It's it's nice to like, especially for now, because it's like, <clears throat> like I need to get back into like that working routine, obviously. Mm-hmm. But it's nice to have that like one or two days off a week. And like, it's a very laid back environment. Like the manager there is, is so like so chill. If mm-hmm. you're listening, give me a raise. No, I'm kidding. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's nice. And the commission is great. It's like, and I love old people. So they come in all the time. Not in that way. Okay. <laughs> I mean, after, what was it, last week's podcast where you guys kept creeping on the 12-year-old girl from the video game? I have to make sure that not everything Wait, you say is sexual. 12-year-old girl from the video game? From Last of Us when I was telling you guys. Oh, and you guys were like, oh, what's the story uh, here? I remember that now. Yeah. But I don't, I, don't, I don't remember there was any sexual innuendos being applied. It was Drew. Yeah, it was Drew's fault. Drew. Drew. Sorry, you're sitting in Drew's chair. Yeah. Yeah. Drew. While we're at it, we should just talk. Isn't Drew a racist? Also yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> In summary, yeah. True racist. <laughs> he did message me and he said, sorry again, hope it went well. Hope it's it still going on. I guess... What an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> How does he not know? Yeah. Drew was... He broke the fourth wall technically, didn't he? What's the fourth wall? I'm not talking directly to the audience, but like this whole thing is... I, at the beginning of every episode, I say, hey, guys, welcome to the podcast. Oh, yeah. uh, Wait, and so when they say fourth wall, do they mean because like, you're watching a TV show and there's three walls around them? and then you're looking, Yeah, the fourth uh, wall is the camera. I would have honestly never put that together. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they never say, got that. You know how they always say in school, they're like, there's no dumb questions. Like, say anything you want because I'm sure there's 10 other people out there who want to yeah. hear that same answer. Shane was that guy every time. <laughs> it's like, thank you. <laughs> there was always that one person that was like, that literally asked the dumb questions. That was like, I was going to ask that, but thank fuck I didn't have my hand up to do it. Because now everyone's being like, oh, what an idiot. But in the back of their head, they're all thinking like, phew. That definitely happens though, you know? For sure. Yeah, like that story you told about your uh, exam. My exam. There are also a lot of dumb questions. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, what time does this, this class end? It's like, bro, you've fucking been in school for like three years. How you know do you ask a lot of dumb questions? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> my, my favorite all time stills when you were like what like water does this and then you were and then he was like no it does this but say the exact same thing about backwards to this day he will argue that point yeah i know my, <laughs> my favorite recent stupid question was ruben one of my moderators when we, uh we were playing red dead and there's daily challenges so like they, they reset every day at 1 a.m our time and then he messaged us and he's just like how long do the daily challenges last for? <laughs> <laughs> what? I said, not, not a day, man. Shit. <laughs> they, they say daily just to throw you off. That's not exactly it. Uh, Video games, actually. You guys see that I've been playing recently? Yeah, you've been playing. Oh, Star Pop- Wars. Yeah, Star, Star Wars, Wars Battlefront, Battlefront 2, yeah. I love it. It's fantastic. Is it still... Really? Does it still have, so, like, all that issue or the issues no, around so it? No, so, like, though? I was watching, uh, I want to say Gamer Ranks or whatever, the guys who make the Before You Buy video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
because they made another one for twenty nine for like end of last year because apparently they reworked the whole game. So I didn't know when the game first came out, Battlefront Two, that like everything was behind a paywall. Yeah, and that yeah, yeah. and that the level and the, that the like the per required XP per level was like like equivalent to like fifteen hours of playing time or something like that. Mm-hmm. It was yeah, it was like I think you needed two thousand five hundred hours to max everything out, and you needed to spend over twelve thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, so which buy is, everything, which is fucked. I didn't yeah. even know that was a thing. But then I like watched this video. They're like they reworked the whole game. Everything's free right off the bat, and like there's only the only only benefit you get of leveling up is like nor is like just like. Uh, like a skill tree right like any other game yeah. mm-hmm. so that's that's fair but like i didn't realize that there was this whole like scandal before and they're like they and like there was some reddit post that was the most downvoted thing in history or something oh that was, yeah i didn't did, know that did was you the see, thing. like what it i was. didn't know uh basically <laughs> someone complained about it being like what is this grind like it's impossible to do anything yeah they had and, like calculated it out didn't they yeah they were yeah. that they were the ones who wrote it all out being like, yeah. you need two thousand hours whatever dollars and then the ea battlefront whatever reddit account responded with like oh we wanted to give the users a sense of accomplishment and like <laughs> working towards something to unlock all these heroes and then it just got downloaded like 300 no like probably 800,000 towards yeah that. i didn't know that was that thing either like i was surprised because like playing it now like it's great like i love it but like if they had like hid all the stuff that was hid behind like a paywall or something mm-hmm. like that game would have been fucked i can't imagine mm-hmm. how it would have like like worked there was also an issue of uh, you could only earn so much XP in a day. Yeah, I think it was I saw like that. after two hours. Yeah, just you couldn't earn sense. anymore. You could keep playing, but yeah, like, I don't know. I started the new like I started this like New Year on like, such a huge Star Wars buzz. Like I grinded out all the Mandalorian on New Year's. Then I watched like three movies in a row. Like the last th- three days minus yesterday, I watched mm-hmm. the new trilogy. And then I was like, dude, I just need Star Wars for some reason. <laughs> you guys ever get like that? Where you, just get, should... you just get super immersed into like a like yeah. a game or like universe or like fandom for a bit. I don't know if for like universe. I I have like a trend like that with music. Yeah, music. But like it's music usually like at like one a.m. I'm just like I need to listen to this album. And I'll just start like doing yeah. random shit while I listen to it. But I don't know if I've ever done it with like just like, like I don't universe. know. Every now and then I just randomly get super immersed into like something. And I'm just all about it. Like for a while it was the Elder Scrolls when I. I started replaying Skyrim. You guys probably saw that. That was like mm-hmm. a few months ago. Spent all my time on like the wiki, reading all these random articles and like playing Skyrim, watching videos on it, blah, blah, blah. And then like, I don't know, d- d- didn't do anything for a bit. Now I'm on this weird Star Wars thing and like it's all I think about. It's fucking, it's like not, it's not an awful thing to have in your head all the time, oh, but good. like. I'll I be sh- honest. The only time I notice what you're doing on Discord is when I message you saying, hey, do you want to play some Siege? You're like, nah, man, I'm busy tonight. Or like, no, I can't. I, I'm not at my computer. And then all I see is Rob is playing Call of Duty on Black Ops 3. And I'm like, okay, okay. Scumbagged. I mean, I'd rather- I'm busy, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just tell me. <laughs> no, like, um, yeah. Like, it's hard to explain, like, what is draw- that keeps me going back into, like, these weird, like, moods of wanting to do stuff like that, but, I don't right, know. Right now, I'm really in a mood of wanting to play RimWorld, which means nothing to you. RimWorld, what's but that? Shane. Hard That's to explain. 30 basically... S- elevator pitch it. Um, you crash land on an island. You have... Bear- give everyone rim jobs. Planet. You have, yeah, a planet. Um, sorry. <laughs> you have, Onto a world, actually. You have bare minimum resources, and then you have to, like, start farming shit, uh, like cutting down trees mining things and then you have to start building the technology back to get to the level where you can build your spaceship all, and get back to your home planet all well the game is literally trying to fuck you over in every possible way whether like, it, it literally diseases, aims to kill you yeah whether it be diseases that like you can't cure in time or whether it be like oh you have three people let's send a raid of 10 good luck is it like a civ type game or is it like first person nah. or something it's, yeah it's like a top down oh, okay a yeah. bird's eye view type game but it the play style would be similar to, I guess, like, think, like, Age of Empires type thing. So, it's real time. It's not turn-based. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, you, you don't create people. You, There's like, no, you control like, your people. It's, like, this, the villagers in Age of Empires. So, you could get them to go do tasks. It's kind of okay. like that. You tell okay. them to go do this, do this. You can assign them to do stuff. Yeah. I want to start playing, uh, Just, what is each it? Each one of the villagers has, like, a mental health, and, like, they're, they're all in depth. Oh, yeah. So, like, blah, blah, blah. every single person has unique stats, and then they have, like traits that they can have so some people can have psychosis so randomly they'll just go on psychotic breaks and yeah. murder everyone so like you have to <laughs> when you're when you're accepting people you have to be wary of that because if you get someone who has like hollow bones as like a disease they're not gonna be able to do much but you can no. also like there's so many things you can like you can sounds interesting ra- you can down like a raider put him put him in your like your prison heal him up and then like 
slowly harvest his organs. So like take out one lung, take out like a kidney and then sell the kidney and stuff. And then if you really wanted to, like I, I've, I've like, as people die, you put them all in like this big freezer and you have a meat table and you grind them up and oh. then you feed them to the dogs and like, that's so what, they, like, that's what like what, dogs are eating. They're eating kibble at a human. What and, some people do is they uh, like do the same thing, human kibble, but they feed it to their prisoners. Oh, God. <laughs> so like you kill a prisoner and then you feed it to his friend who's in the bed beside him. My favorite meme that's I saw. Arya shit. Arya Stark. <laughs> my favorite meme that I saw was the one I sent you, which is like, you know, that two y- ladies yelling and then the cat. Yeah, yeah. So the one on the left was just like, adults saying that video games cause violence and on the right it's just like me playing RimWorld, peacefully harvesting the organs of my prisoners <laughs> the best one i've ever had was like you get really invested in all these people and then there was like a fight and one of them got like nobody got hit except one guy got shot once and like i look at his health and he's like he's dying the bullet went through his skull so the skull has a, a hit point so it's like 10 to 10 zero to 10 God so he got smoked and then it went into his brain and it, his hit point on his brain was one out of ten so he just lived, but then you can't really, this was before mods, so you can't really fix that. Yeah. So all he could do is lay there and we had to like, I had to send someone to feed him every single day, <laughs> but I kept him alive and I picked him up and put him into my ship and <laughs> launched him to space and he lived with everyone else. But the best thing is, is like I had a ship and I could seat four people and I had five people in my base. So I took like, I took this three. This guy's just paralyzed. I took three. I took the paralyzed guy and I took my dog. <laughs> And left the other two on the planet. On the planet. It's a worthwhile journey. Yeah, it was. It's a, oh, it's so good. I don't know. I'm not putting in like that. My Halo Wars. It, it's but a, like oh, Halo, Halo Wars is a little Wars. different than that. Yeah, other it's, match. It's, I love Halo Wars. It was really very fun. difficult. Depending yeah. on the settings, you can put it on easy and just close. Yeah, but I would. I'll, I might watch. Like I'm a big fan of like seeing a game, watching a bit of YouTube on it, seeing if I would like it mm-hmm. type thing. It I'd is a game same. that's very in depth. It's not something that you just yeah, pick like, up. You have to really. It's research like an, and, and it's an investment, it. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it gives it that a reward. A reward. Played games. Yeah, like you, you can put like like hundred, not hundreds of hours, but I put yeah. like probably fifty plus hours in one session yeah. to oh, build man. up the ship at the end, and actually probably more if you really think of it. I think I, in total I have fifty hours on it, and I've never beat it. Shane's beat it once. Yeah, and you have probably like over a hundred, I would assume, hours assume on it. So yeah, some nutty amount. Yeah. Um, I also go have. Uh, what's it called? Fuck. Oh, Subnautica. I get it for free with my Xbox subscription. Oh, this nice. Month. I so heard I might, it's really good. I might try yeah. it. I've never seen anything on it, but I've heard. Good I've things. heard it's really good. I watched uh, someone play it. I just want that multiplayer, honestly. It's Subnautica, basically like Minecraft, but yeah, I think it's nice than that. Yeah, oh. it's like you go. It's like water exploration while building a base. Mm-hmm. What's Terraria? I see seeing Great that game. everywhere too. Basic summary. I, everyone always gets pissed off when I say this, but it's basically two D Minecraft. Yeah. Two D. So it's a platformer. Well, like it's a open or open world type thing, and like you dig, you get resources, but it's all two D. Build so up armor, like doing... fight bosses. Yeah, that's that. But like, how's a? I just have to just see. So it's like it. side scroller. Type yeah, thing. yeah. But like, so, so it's not a platformer. It's like a side, like a Mario, old Mario type game. Yeah. Okay. But like but Mario you... mixed with Minecraft. Yeah. So okay, like, it's, it's not like you have to go from one side to the other, or whatever. It's just you dig down, you build up, you go wherever you want. Because I've been mm. seeing a lot of memes about that too, and I have no idea what it is. No. I, I saw a great meme about the Star Wars thing. It's like a dude with like, he's like me with my level 452 um, Darth Vader. And then it's just like the picture of like all the guys getting destroyed, like like in the hallway. Oh, yeah, like on one of the ship, ships. Yeah. And it's like all the kids who got the game for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas noobs. I had to think I'm at, a, I'm at a, it's a strong advantage though because I played the shit out of the old Battlefront games. Mm-hmm. They didn't change the controls one bit. Hey. So I'm just destroying people, especially in the like flying too. Yeah, I'm gonna. T- Dude, I have a, oh, my phone on me. I gotta post a clip. I'll put it in Discord of me and a Tie Fighter just laying waste to all these noobs, man. It was when me and Niall played the other one. It was so fun. Yeah, I loved really it, fun. but I just was like, I'm not gonna put enough time into this. To yeah, get it. I think you have to be a, a huge Star Wars nerd to get the most out of a game like that. Did he get this one? No, I, we were at work the other day. Oh we were talking God. about it, and we were gonna get it together, but uh, it's not cross pla- cross platform. And I was like, I, I would have had it on Xbox. He would have got it on his computer, but mm-hmm. he's changed. Yeah, well, he doesn't. He's ha- changed for the better. He doesn't have an yeah. Xbox. I don't think he's no. PS4. Rob's the only one out of our group who's like held <clears> out <throat> on console and like refuses to. I just like it because it's like, it's like I don't know when I when I play PC, I just feel so intense sometimes. You know, the thing is, is that plug in your controller. I, was say, I know, I know. When I like, switched to PC, I played on controller for. I really, the only time I stopped was once we got to like Red Dead, the RimWorld and stuff. You can't play RimWorld, but like 
Red it's, Dead was the first really big game. Even when we helped, we played GTA. I was on my control the yeah, whole time. Well, GTA is a little different though, because it's but, so much better but on controller. Red Dead Redemption, I played on controller. Like I played it on PS4, beat the whole game, and then switched over. But I was like, I had the controller. I was playing on controller. I was like, I really need to switch the mouse and keyboard. Yeah, there. fuck. That's just like, again, I, I used a mount or controller when I first played Skyrim on my PC and like Rocket League and stuff. But like mm-hmm. games like Overwatch or Siege, I obviously not Siege, but like Overwatch for sure. I can only play with the mouse and keyboard now. You know what I mean? Like I, I was at my buddy's place yeah. and he has it on console, and I was like, "Dude, dude this feels like get this out of my hands. It feels weird." <laughs> but like, that's on, progress. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. But like, we're getting there. <laughs> I'm just like, when I think of Overwatch, I just think PC. When I think COD, I think console. You I know remember what I mean? last time we had this argument? We told you that, and you're like, "It's just not the same." We're like, no, it literally is the exact same. Like, <laughs> it's no, it's better. not. It's better like, on Rob, PC. You can you can set the Xbox beside the computer, turn it on, so you think you're playing your Xbox, <laughs> but like Jeez. no i'll admit the graphics and like response time like like the only game that i've played on both like enough to notice a difference has been skyrim or like bioshock of all random games like i noticed it's a very distinct difference in how the game moves and feels bioshock's on pc yeah well you had to, it was in your library you gave it to me <laughs> i did yeah <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yes. I have like 250 games yeah. on CD. I, I don't played, know what I it have. was. A Bioshock Infinite, and it was looked gorgeous on PC. Like oh. it looked fantastic. Oh, I think I got that in a humble bundle. Yeah, that yeah. was the first That's game. That was the first game that I remember like getting. I think it was like the second game I installed on my PC ever. I, the first game I ever installed was Outlast. How random is that? <laughs> because like we had, remember you guys set it up, and then I was like, the only game I knew that I wanted to try was Outlast for some reason. I yeah. got it, and it. I didn't. I played a half hour and that was it because it was fucking terrifying. Dude, I love. I remember when you you first <clears> got that computer, built it. I was like, sit. You. It's just everyone in the like your living area or whatever yeah. it is, or we're just like around the table, just watching you guys as you perform surgery <laughs> yeah. on this thing. And I was like, that's where the varsity creep emo. Yeah, came yeah from. No, that was after we set it up. Remember in my room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a good time. Were you were there. For, you were there for that. I Didn't popped it? in. I remember I had just got my car. Oh like, yo, yeah. Yo, let me see it. And then yo, I was like, "Bring your car over." Yeah. So I rolled up. We were like, "What are you guys doing?" Like, yo, come in. And there's just like six dudes around yeah. a, com- a table yeah. on a computer. That was a huge day. You had a new whip, and I had a new computer. Yeah, big big day. That was a huge day. But unfortunately, um, the gang is not all together from that day still. <laughs> no. There's there's a. A few casualties. Yeah, there was, there was a, a huge, one giant casualty. Rest in peace. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? No. There was like five people at the table. I'm sure we can put it together. <laughs> well, there's there's two that are just have not been spoken about in ages. Mm-hmm. That's our thing right now. Uh, We're if only Drew was that, there back then. He'd also be dead. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, he'd be one of the guys we cut off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder what Drew was doing that back then. Were you guys friends with him? That Wasn't that, that's around uh, when Drew was an alcoholic. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think he came, became, was it Zares that brought Drew to like the, the crew? Yeah, so, but that he, he came and then he left. The timeline is like when he went to university, he played with us still for, I want to say four <clears> months. <throat> I Actually, no, five months. I remember it specifically in January. It was like one of the last talks I had with him. And then he told me about the uh, multimedia class he took. He's like, you would really like this. So then I started looking into it. And, and then we lost him. <laughs> and then later that uh, year, or maybe the year after, I went to the same school as him for that. But I never really thought to message him because we hadn't talked to him in like over a year, maybe mm-hmm. two years at that point. So we just kind of left it. Yeah. And then after I'd been at that school for, I want to say like five months, I posted on my Snapchat about getting a new bus pass. And then he saw it, and he's like, "Since when the fuck do you go to the school?" Like, oh, I've been <laughs> here. Years. I've been here two. for like a while now. And then he came over, and we just played Rocket League. I had my two monitors, so I set the game up on like three thousand resolution, so it would go between both monitors. Oh, so we just both played together, geez. and then that was it. And then he just left. I was like, "Okay, Drew's back in our life now." Yeah, hey. That's nice. I'm trying to remember when I, I had a brief hiatus too, didn't I? I think in like the well, summer of like 2017. Yours, I never really left. It was yours just is different. It's just because like we always are in contact with you. Yeah. But it's just like but you have, disappeared. You have. You had a very times, bad reputation yeah. for a long time. Yeah. And I, I think I, I honestly think you've. I'll be the first to say I think you bucked it. Like yeah, like that was my New Year's resolution last year. Actually, was like not specifically just this crew, but like it was <laughs> everyone. It was like. I was, I saw it. Like, Be more present. Well, it was like, I, like every single person I knew, like I talked to was like, dude, you're the biggest fucking flake I've ever met. Like, you, like, I remember you, when we confronted Rob about this and he told me, he's like, don't you prefer that? I was like, what do you mean? He's no. like, wouldn't you rather me just constantly tell you no than just 
never show up. Like, yeah, well, like that was what? no. And I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, there are a couple. This, there this are, is a me problem. I was like, okay, I gotta start. There are a couple going times I bring it up with you, and you get pissed. You're yeah. like, no, I'm not like that at all. I'm like, what the no, fuck? No, I you just, mean? I just was kind of lost in my own head for a bit. I was like, <laughs> I will say, I think there was probably like a one month period before you started like coming back in where we were like, fuck Rob. We were like, we're not inviting Rob to anything. Yeah, anymore. I don't blame you. I think yeah. I didn't come. And I don't think it was just a one month period. I yeah, think it was a pretty it was long longer. period. Yeah, I think it was like actually, a season. Yeah, yeah. there was, yeah. I'm was trying to remember like, the, like when I first came back, came back. It sounds like I fucking went to like, war or something. <laughs> <laughs> World War Three. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to remember like, I think it was a Korean barbecue, wasn't it? That one day? I think so. Something like that. Some random. I, just, I think I came back into town for something, and you were just like, "Oh yeah, I was just." You like, were just like, "Oh, you're not gonna come anyways, but we're doing this then." Yeah, it was either, it was either like sushi or KBBQ. Yeah. And I remember thinking to myself, "I'm gonna surprise these guys and show up." This bitch. <laughs> I remember being surprised. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I just, I just was like, man, like if everyone I know is telling me this, then I'm doing something wrong. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like my own fucking roommates were like, "Dude, like come, like leave the house," <laughs> and I was like. I guess I should. But the Vikings game is on. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't remember what it was. I think I was just like in a weird headspace for a mm-hmm. bit, you know? Mm-hmm. You kind of convince yourself into like these weird thought thought processes. And then you're just well, kind of like. It's it's great to have you back there. Oh, thank you. I remember. This is like a verbal hug. I yeah. like it. <laughs> when people were first telling us about the podcast, or I was telling people about the podcast, and they're like, oh, like, why are you doing it? I was like, to be honest, one of the main reasons that we can force Rob to be here with us <laughs> and hang out with us on a weekly basis. Yeah. And then you were so convinced I wasn't going to do it either. Oh, no. Well, we made that bet. Yeah. Yeah, I told I'm, him. I told him you you guys need to make a new bet to keep you through the new year, like the another six month turn. It's like a contract. <laughs> I th- have I uh, <clears throat> have I like subsidized the amount of money off of yet? You know what I mean? Like from earnings? No, like like you said you put time, what, like money into this, right? Yeah. So I, as it, as me coming like subsidizing each episode off the I, thing, I guess <laughs> you probably. I'm probably like, well, don't, give it, to almost, him. don't no. give it to him. Almost breaking even. No, because at this point, you would have had to, like, in terms of subsidizing your time, it would be worth about $150 per episode of the podcast. So I don't the, think you've, I don't so think you're like, worth that much. What's, what's 20 times 150? Wait, no, it's episode 18, right? Yeah. 18 times, there's, there's no way I'm doing that math in my head. No fucking way. It's like, a, it's around 2400 okay so we're getting there so you're very close <laughs> I'm gonna, but that'd I'm, be, I'm just gonna make a little note here that'd be yeah. again <laughs> assuming 150 dollars per episode which i feel like is a little generous i mean an hour i'm getting paid 150 an hour sounds okay to me don't you think so yeah what Did, the fuck i'm getting paid a green array <laughs> <laughs> i'm paying him <laughs> yeah, i'm paying him to be here <laughs> oh god uh, do you I, imagine if we oh that would be so funny if christian actually like didn't tell either any of us, but we all have to pay him to be here on this podcast, but didn't tell anyone. <laughs> and everyone just thinks you want to be here. Yeah, exactly. I will say, back. I was uh, I was surprised how uh, sad Rob sounded this morning when he called me. I, it was like 9 a.m. I'm yeah. editing at my desk, and all I get is a call from Rob. I'm like, this can't be good. What's wrong with him? Yeah. He's dying. And then I pick it up and he's just like, sorry, man. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it tonight. Like, I just got called for work until 930. Yeah. So I'm going to try to figure it out. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I was like, it's okay if you can't make it, whatever. I was surprised too. I thought you, I was expecting you to be like, fuck you. Nah, no, I, mean, I, think, I think Drew thinks the same thing because he felt <laughs> really bad about missing time. Like, it's fine. Drew's it happens. It's more like it's last second. Like, yeah. yeah. It would have been nice if we could plan someone else. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I 100%, be if you had bailed this morning, I would immediately called Niall and been like, now we need you on the podcast. Yeah. Or like, or Niall or Hannah. Like, there's so yeah. many people we could yeah. call. We should bring someone in just for fun. Yeah. Like, fuck Drew. Well, yeah. yeah. Drew let us know like half an hour before. So we can't. Yeah. yeah he's but, scumbag this, but fair, whatever. But yeah. And then. <laughs> Anyways, Rob was just like he felt so bad. I'm like, I did feel bad. I was like, you've already cleared your deal. Like we said until the new year, yeah. yeah. He's cleared. Well, it he, now, he was, so. as long as you don't miss a bunch back to back. Like I think it's fine. Yeah, Christian was even like, oh, stay so away to the new year, huh? To get <laughs> yeah, out yeah, of it. Just, <laughs> yeah. I was just like, wow, you waited until the, the first yeah. podcast of the new it's year. It's funny to because do this. I I thought I would make the most, and like you would miss the most, or I would be here the most, and you would miss the most. I've missed and it's a been single completely one. opposite. Yeah. I've missed three or two, three if you count me being gone but that like no. we all missed that so but yeah, uh so i missed not two. me yeah I, I came and recorded my own that and two time. with things like there's no like the one i'm never getting back from dominican i don't remember what the other one was for something i was just I think gone. it was working right or something no, or you're at a leaf game. Leaf game. Oh, yeah. leafs game which yeah, is fair yeah. so which like is two leaf, things i can't yeah it's yeah. a leafs game yeah, yeah. it's like but yeah. um well even drew when i told him that you weren't gonna make it he's just like wait we can book days off now and i'm like no no <laughs> he's just like but what about a leafs game nope nope leafs game is a a prior commitment Last yeah. week, last week Amanda 
my mom and my sister mm-hmm. went to Niagara Falls for Sarah's birthday. And they're like, do you want to come? It's like, it's like Monday into Tuesday. No, <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys. But um, it, was, it was mainly because I worked at five the next day. Okay, okay. That's not right. because, uh, not, not, not because a giant S played full of thugs. We can't beat yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When uh when I got the, the my V five Drew owes me fifteen bucks now. No, twenty because he has a job. Yeah, yeah, okay, so whatever, twenty bucks. So I, I left him a voicemail. I was like, "Hey, Drew, it's your pal Shane. <laughs> um, I got a baseball, or I you owe me um twenty bucks as of this moment right now. I got a baseball bat in my car with your good knees name <laughs> on it. <Good> knees. <laughs> I'll see you soon, pal. <laughs> give me my Monday by the knees. Give me my money by Monday. And then he, he fakes it. He doesn't <laughs> have the money. Yet. This guy. <laughs> That's why at home just counting some limits right now. Uh, Scrape and change out of the coat pocket. It's like Bree. This is an emergency. You need to drive home. Twenty here. bucks. He knows. <laughs> yeah, no, it's pretty funny. But yeah, happy single episode. Proved all the haters and losers wrong. Mm-hmm. What's uh, how long are you gonna go for? Until I can't, yeah. Hey. He's technically, you technically made more than me because there was the one week where I couldn't make it, but you would have been able yep. to. Yeah, we, I think so, we all could have. Yeah. Which one? When you were gone? In Vegas. Yeah. Or, well, I was just in Vegas. Because you know, we redid one of them. That was just a normal Monday, wasn't it? Because Japan, we recorded ahead of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did it on like a Thursday. And then, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, then which, uh, maybe we didn't miss one. I don't think no, so. no, because I was we've, going. We've I was going sure to miss. One. No, I was going to miss Vegas, but then I specifically asked them to fly me back the night before. Correct, uh, and you slept like in the morning. Yeah, I remember that specifically, so we could make the podcast. So no, specifically, then, yeah, we have, yeah, I don't think we specifically, but specifically. <laughs> um, we should wrap up because it's almost nine o'clock. You I can't even see what the, the numbers on that screen. Time to class. It is an hour and twenty in. Nice. Huge, we made it. Mm. Vikings. Oh fucking right! We can. I really hope you had to, you had to either better cut Drew's salary in half, or, <laughs> or we should just fire him. Okay, this was, yeah. this was easy. We should ask. The, that's what a question for the comments should be: a suitable punishment for Drew missing yeah. today's episode. Yeah, we we need something to prompt them because I want to start featuring some of the comments and yeah. talking about them. But there weren't like a lot of most of the comments are just like you guys are wrong about. There was this, the one this, guy. This. He's like, he's like, yay! I love your Leviathan something. He's like, yay! I love your Bruins prediction. Uh, let's get one thing straight. We don't like the Bruins. Yeah. The Bruins fucking oh, yeah. suck. He said that. We hate the Bruins, but But like, they're gonna beat us. They're just, I, but we all hate them. Unless Toronto can score ten goals a game every game against them mm-hmm. in the playoffs. Because they're destined to play each other every fucking year. <laughs> but um yeah, we should ask the viewers slash listeners, what is a suitable punishment for Drew not being here today? Hmm. It can be a a lewd sex act. <laughs> it can be a. Um, it can be a. Lewd mon- sex act is preferred. <laughs> it can be a monetary amount. If you go to my free cams, there's a uh, there's a camera under the table. <laughs> Ex hamster. <laughs> um, or it could be like, I don't know. It has to do five push ups upside down wall push ups without a shirt on. No, he'd hurt his knee somehow. Yeah, that's true. Actually, we'll find a way. Okay. But yeah, yeah. That, that's what we've been tasked. Everybody, let us know what your the punishment should be. Yeah, but. If you uh, made it this far. Yeah. We'll be back next week, hopefully, with Drew. If not, uh, we'll call in a ringer. Yeah. Well, Someone, uh, probably Niall or Hannah. We will have Justin Trudeau on the pod next week. If Can we, do we have the type, like, do you have the budget to, to put Annie in this seat? But we, we like, gray her out and we voice change her. <laughs> Just give her, like, That would be possible, voice. yeah. Oh, we got uh, the budget, boys. <laughs> we could do that. That would be a Wait, let's, pain let's in do the that. Ass. Let's do that for if Just, we make, like, 50. Yeah. Or even the 25th. Ah, uh, uh, no, 50 is probably doable, actually. I, well, I told doable. everyone. I'll tell you what. I don't want to do the math how many months away it is. I told everyone, like, on Twitch, because they always ask to see her. I was like, the only way I'm going to show Annie in anything is either we're engaged or we've been together for, I was, I think I said two years originally, but I think three years. I think, I think we bet. should do that for, like, the 50th. Just, like. I mean, hell, we haven't even seen her yet, so. Like... <laughs> 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 don't expose the guy like this. <laughs> We'll work on it. We'll think of something. We can just yeah. like, put her there and then put like, a, just like a white a square over, over here. Yeah. <laughs> a curtain over. And then ask her questions. But all or- I can just, I just want the voice, like, just like everyone's like, hey guys, this is uh, the 50th podcast. Hey guys, <laughs> Annie here. It's like an alien, like, distorted <laughs> voice. That would be so easy to do on the voice bit. Like, the yeah. camera bit would probably suck. Yeah. I'd have to, like, either have something physically here or. I'd have to go painstakingly in and or edit just like putting like a yeah. what's leave like an object in front of her over the thing. Can you do that? Like in well, the editing, like, like the, in uh, like, like like a black block or something. <laughs> but it would also block me sometimes. Like if I go ahead, we'll just don't do that. Then. Okay, it's easy. Yeah, well, right, then the object's gotta move. <laughs> <laughs> they go up and down, side to side. Yeah. 
All right. Well, anyways, that's it for the podcast. We'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.